So I'm here in Vintage Strings in Cheltenham with my old friend, Mr. John Vickers. Say hello, John. Yeah, good afternoon. John is looking the other way. He's, good afternoon. He's discovered his Jewish heritage after all these years and is now a renowned player of klezmer music. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> Hence all these wonderful accordions. And what I'm looking at is a beginner's accordion at the moment. John is explaining that you need 72... 72 bass minimum to be fully chromatic. That means to play everything that's in the scales you may wish to play. So we've got, um, so that one there might be good for, uh, just saying that my niece is after a accordion, and she's quite a, a very talented piano player. What would her problem be then, finding what to do with the buttons, really? Initially, uh, and, and until you get going, she should probably need an accordion teacher to, to give her some help with the left hand. Yeah. The right hand is the piano. Another feature that this instrument has, apart from having two, two registered high and low, it has what's called tremolo. This is a very clever thing. We have a set of reeds that's tuned 20% sharp yeah. on a concert set of reeds. The two reeds sounding together set up an oscillation, which is called tremolo. I'll give you an example. Single note. Yeah. Tremolo. Oh, I see. That gives you that effect. It's almost like a chorus effect, then, isn't it? So it's oscillating between two two reeds. Two reeds slightly offset in pitch. Oh, okay. Now a thing called musette proper, which is tremolo has three reeds. We have one, one reed set to concert, and then one reed sharp, one, and one, one reed flat. Can you see on, yeah, this, yeah. on this button here how yeah. we've got two, two notes, two dots in the stave. Yeah, I got it. That's denoting tremolo, two voices. On a larger instrument, let's take this fellow. I've got a friend who's a very good accordion player as well who is just hopelessly out of tune. So um, oh, we can sort that. Now, can you, you see on this fellow, there's yeah. three. This is called musette or very wet tuning. It's the tuning you associate with uh, wet tuning. Wet. Wet. We're wet rather than dry. So lots of effect, as you'll hear. Well, normally, because we say wet, we're thinking of reverb and effects. Exactly aren't we? the same, really. We're talking in terms of, of uh, the. Tremolo or musette is being wet. Are these reconditioned or new ones? These, these, these are new ones. Yeah. Of course, when I get it on, I can't see what I'm doing. So that's a three, isn't it? Yeah. Now you see how yeah. wide that sound is? That's really loud. That's really loud. <laughs> And then, for argument's sake, tremolo, which are just two of them, so you hear the difference. It's just two voices. And go to one. A single voice. That's a real gypsy jazz sound, isn't it's, it? It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then, say, and three again. And what's the deepest... The deepest bass note you can do. Well, this has got couplers in the left side. <laughs> You're trapped in the corner. It's, it's what my <laughs> wife should be giving this lecture because she plays the things. Oh, that's a sweet sound. So it's in octaves. Take 